He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his gun. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack attack. Hey, wait a minute. There's no guns in this game. Shut up, Pee-wee. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be on this planet of ours. Welcome to the sultry, smooth sounds of Station S-L-A-K, Major Slack of the Wheel here. It is in the wee hours of the morning here in Montreal, Quebec, so I'm going to have to keep my voice low to avoid arousing the neighbors. Yes, that's right, the neighbors become sexually aroused when they hear me talking loud. <laughs> no, not true. Anyways, let me take you on a walkthrough on what I have been doing lately here in Skyrim on Legendary Difficulty, uh, playing as a pure Wood Elf, using only the six Wood Elf skills, which would be Archery, Light Armor, Sneak, Lockpicking, Pickpocket, and Alchemy. Now, I have been doing a lot of shopping off camera. I've been going, I went power shopping for an hour. I, I limited myself to one hour of power shopping. Um, as you may or may not have realized uh, at this point in the walkthrough, level 41 is coming to a point where we are at a serious disadvantage whenever we have to face droggers or any kind of undead because all our potions are useless, or rather all our poisons are useless. Okay, and that's a big part of our offense, our poison. So. I went power shopping for some better archery gear and let me show you what I got. I actually found, first of all, this is what I did. Um, I went to Kynes Grove and I collected a whole bunch of dragon's tongue because that's what I was missing for another big batch of power, power potions which would be dragon's tongue fly I mean, need and more tapanella we made that power potion before and it collected a whole bunch of dragon's tongue and at that point i was able to make another big batch of power potions about 40 potions then i went to soul's time and sold them all off made about twenty thousand gold then i went power shopping um oh that's another thing because we had a bounty here in solitude because we killed the uh victoria Vici. um i had to take care of that I noticed that when I returned to Solitude, all the guards attacked me on sight. It could have like just maybe taken out my weapon and sheathed my weapon and maybe taken care of it. Or I noticed that if you just simply go to Catless Farm, the guard will simply arrest you. And I went to jail, served my time, lost a little bit of leveling up on some skills, but that's okay. Okay, so I took care of that. Um, before I did that, I stashed Kind's token and the Ring of Minor Archery here at the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary so that they wouldn't get taken away when I got arrested. Okay, so I took care of the bounty. Then I went power shopping. Or rather, I collected the ingredients. Dragon's Tongue, and I made a whole bunch of potions. Went back home, made a whole bunch of power potions. Then I went to Solstheim, sold off all the potions. Came back with 20,000 gold. Then I went to back to Solitude and I went to Radiant Raiments, which is the best place um, to go shopping for enchanted rings and enchanted necklaces. Okay, best place. They have the widest selection. And this is what I came up with. I came up with this, the Circlet of Peerless Archery, which actually is going to outperform the Ancient Shrouded Armor, which you're going to get anyway, so I'll explain that later, but it actually outperforms that. Ancient Shrouded Armor, I believe, is 35%. This is 40%. I found that. And I found um, this, the Necklace of Peerless Alchemy. I found this, the Necklace of Shock Abatement. And I found this, the Necklace of Eminent Squire. Oh, and this I didn't find at Radiant Raymond. This actually found in Soul's Time from Fetha Salora as I was selling off all the potions. I found this fantastic fire resistance necklace. 70%. The Ring of Extreme Archery. This was the hardest thing to find. Um, where did I feel? I think I also got this at Radiant Raymond's. But no, wait, I think I got this from Fethus Allure, also in Soul's Time. And I believe that's it. So that's all my new gear. So I managed to bump up um, my crossbow damage from 91 
to 116 and that's that's with all my archery gear on okay so that's what we're looking at plus some new um, elemental resistance plus if I put this on and I put on all my shrouded armor my armor rate is now 414 is that with the Lord stone I believe that is with the Lord stones so that's actually not too bad you know 414 with the Lord stone that's including this necklace of eminent squire which increased my armor rating Ugh, not much this cost a pretty penny too this cost like I think 2500 gold and it's like necklace of eminent squire and th that's all it does you know increase your armor rating from 403 to 414 so it's best I can do anyway so this I mean I'm not going to do any more power shopping in this walkthrough I'm fed up after one hour of punch shopping basically going up to, to shopkeepers doing a quick save check in the inventory exit punch them reload rinse and repeat for a whole hour it was so tedious so I you know of course I left that out and that this is this is pretty much the best we could do with regards to bow damage against the undead. Uh, the only other thing I could do is plow through the entire Dawnguard quest line in order to get access to the Shrine of Oriel, which we could then use to add another paltry 10% um, to our archery damage. But I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to bother with that. It's just going to be. I'm just just going to rest on my laurels here. So back to all the archery gear, that's that, that uh, Heinz token, there is no necklace of archery, so that's the best we can do with regards to a necklace of archery. Um, Ring of Extreme Archery, Savior's Hide, and the Shrouded Boots. We are still going after the Ancient Shrouded Armor set because that will be a better armor rating than this. You know, if we want to like to maximize our armor by getting the... Um, the bonus this fortify armor reading bonus we're going to get the same thing from the ancient shrouded armor set so yeah we're still going after that so that's it that's what I did off camera let me just put on my archery gear let me just double check something do I still have all my uh, this nexus of peerless alchemy and Skill braces of alchemy. I didn't find any better alchemy gear with re except for this, the necklace. Yeah, power shopping sucks. <laughs> really sucks. Okay, so let's get busy. We have pretty much everything we need in the way of potions. It would be nice to have another big batch of regular power poison power poisons and we've been doing this we've been making this with death bell imstool and scape crawl now i got a ton of death bell and i got a ton of scape crawl what we're a little short on is imstool conveniently enough right here near falkyrie is haldir's cairn which has 15 imstool in it so with the green thumb prick we can collect easily 30 imstool without even having to go into combat. Let's do that right now. Okay, let's go to Falk Wraith. And we're gonna ride west out of Falk Wraith. Find the road here. Down the road. Looking for a little path on the right. There's a little, check that little path on the left. Little path on the left. Hook around up here, you're going to find an unmarked camp right here. And then just point yourself to that cave icon on the compass right there. That's Haldir's Care. Could be a bear off to our right there, just ignore it. And here is Haldir's Care. Ton of mushrooms in here. Really only after Fly Amanita, Blister Word, and Imstool, most importantly Imstool. But to make it simple, maybe to make it simple rather, maybe just collect all the mushrooms. Let me just 
slap on the torch here. Okay, so I'm just gonna make it simple and collect all the mushrooms. Hopefully we're gonna exit with 32 imps stew. I have two imps stew already I started out with. I find the easiest just go counterclockwise, work your way around counterclockwise, stick to the perimeter. Alright, how do we do? 28. I missed two M stool. Up here? There's one. the other. Okay, very good. Like I said, I had I had two imps still on me, so that's 32 altogether. But you'll probably come out with 30. If you came here in here empty-handed. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Alright, now, back to the homestead. Let's make some potions. Stash everything first. And take out Blister Wirt. Just take them out. Take out everything. Not gonna bother counting. Uh Blister Wirt and Blue Mountain Flower. And Death Bell, Imp Stool, and Scathe Craw. Death Bell. Steel, which we now have a good supply of, and Scathe Craw. I forgot previously that you can make invisibility potions from this here Ash Creek cluster. So I think somewhere along the line I'll go to that nerd root farm. Get a whole bunch of nerd root. So we'll have a nice supply of invisibility potions, but for now. Okay, all this gear off. Arch or er, alchemy gear on, which would be Croesus, Nuri's ring, my new necklace of peerless alchemy, and the scaled brazers of alchemy, which I wasn't able to replace with anything better. 
Okay, operate four times down the line and quick save before every major crafting session. Let's crank out a new batch of health potions. We can make 53. Why not? And a new batch of super poisons. All right, cause 26 percent, 26 points of poison damage. This is like poison damage, stamina damage, and super poison damage, stamina damage, and regular poison damage. Let's make a whole bunch of these. And now we are set up for combat, like totally set up. Let's just dash the. Uh... Okay, now we're carrying a crap ton of, of potions on us. Okay, new archery gear, that'd be that guy, that guy, Kynes token, ring of archery, savior's hide, and the shrouded boots. Double check, crossbow is 116. Yeah, I'm just curious, how much? How many potions we have on board? Let me just stash this over here. Okay, our carry weight is currently 219. Just out of curiosity. I'm going to stash all my potions in here. Two nineteen minus sixty seven. That's like uh that's a lot. Let's get my calculator here. We are carrying a hundred and fifty pounds of potions. To mitigate that, I believe it would be a great investment to spend a perk point on extra pockets, increase their carry capacity by 100. Because that's our strength right now, these potions. Okay, so now we have 450 carry weight. Very good. Next on the agenda, reaching security. Speak with Gabriella. Let's go back to the. First of all, let me hockey everything. This is important. It's a new batch of straight super poisons, paralysis poisons, fortify marksman. That's good. That's good. And we have, we have lots of everything. Okay, you guys are number five. You guys are number six. Crossbow's number four. Glassbow's number three. Fortify Marksman is number two, and Restore Health is number one. Although we have another big batch of Restore Health potions here as well. So, no, we're loaded for bear. Loaded for bear. All right. Gabriella is somewhere in the back here. Your latest exploit certainly adds a sanctuary to 
perhaps in the alchemy area. No, maybe she's having sleep. There she is, right there. It was a suicide mission. Dear Astrid sister, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. She did. What are the details? With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. How dastardly. Okay, I understand. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge, and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sithis. Sithis. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. Yes. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Okay, and that's important. Because that is the only way, without using an exploit, to get the ancient shrouded armor. So we have to do that. And yes, I'm fully aware of the exploit where you use the ritual stone to draw the ghost of the ancient shrouded armor out from his... Uh, I know all about that, but we're not going to do that. That's an exploit. We're going to do it the normal way. We're going to go through the Dark Brother quest line and do it the legitimate way. Alright, so now... Um, Breaching security. We have to go to Dragon Bridge. Right there. Closest place is Catless Farm. Let's go for a little ride. I take care of the horses and the goats and the chickens. Ugh. That's what the wee says. And the chickens. Oh. Guess he's getting a little tired of chicken shit. Cleaning up the chicken shit. Okay, riding up the Dragon Bridge. The, we have the optional objective of stealing a schedule, which will help us pin him down on one of the cities. So you have to kill him in one of the cities in order to get the bonus, as Gabriel has just outlined. Okay, now entering Dragon Bridge. Dragon Bridge. Here is the target right here, Gaius Morrow. When you get to the cities, make your observations and move on. I understand. But you're being paranoid. I'm inspecting security, not charging off into battle. There's not a lot that can go wrong. Son. Emperor's safety is concerned. Anything could go wrong. Off with you now, and good travels. Farewell, Father. I'll return as soon as I'm able. Well, this is it then. Look after yourself, Gaius. You're doing your duty, and I'm proud of you, but you better come back to me. You hear? Oh, Fida. I may travel alone, but you know I carry you always in my heart. No. All right. Happy trails. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. Here in the Penitus Oculus Oculus Trust outpost. We have to say to one another. Okay, that's nice. Off you go. Atta boy. Alright. This schedule is what we want here. Let's see if we can just kinda like uh Yoink. And 
Yoink. Okay, so we got the schedule completed the optional objective. Officer. <laughs> now we can find out where he's gonna be. All right, now today is Murndas. Tomorrow he'll be in Windhelm in the Palace of the Kings. Let's try to intercept him there. Okay, the quest marker indicates that he's still outside the city, and it is. Should be here any minute. Let's just wait an hour or so, see what happens. Here it looks like somebody just came in. He is now inside the city walls. Alright, crossbow up. Let's get the regular bow, the glass bow, loaded up with uh, a paralysis poison. Let's get the crossbow loaded up with a regular poison. Okay, switch over to the regular bow. Let's find him. Now that he's within the city walls, we can kill him and get the bonus. Now, to avoid getting a bounty, all we have to do is talk to him. You there. Keep back, citizen. I have important business I must attend to. Here, if you say, after I kill you, I'm going to kill the Emperor. At that point, he's going to go hostile, and then you can kill him without getting a bounty. So, sorry about this, Gaius, but it's just business. What? Filthy assassin. We'll see who lies dead. Yeah, we will. Okay. Here we go. Paralyze him. Oops, got the wrong bolts hooked up. Don't want to waste those steel bolts. And let's take a potion of fortify archery. And that's all she wrote. Plant the incriminating letter on him. Take her bolts back. Maybe sell this stuff. Book, incriminating letter. There you go. Oh, what happened? I don't know. Hey, uh, he fell down and hit his head. Up in <laughs> oh yeah, word about that got around. And that's all there is to it. There's dead lying all over the place here in Windhelm. These people really know how to party. Okay. <laughs> uh, what time is it? Hey, blacksmith should be here. There he is. Everyone's looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. Very good. Whether it's armor you need or a new blade, come see me. Back to Gabriella. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Guys, Morrow is dead. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. 
You have done well and have earned both your reward and a bonus, as All I right. mentioned. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. It's Cicero. There's been an incident. Again. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. Okay, and we now have all of us token in our possession. Right there. We're going to table this for a later date, if at all. Um, this is all of basically our, my whole interest in the Dark Brotherhood is to get to this point where we can get the, the ancient shrouded armor. At this point, you go off like on a tangent. Take all of us token to Whiterun and speak to Oliver. Okay. Go to miscellaneous. And that will help you locate Oliver. Here she is. Olive oil. How you doing? Maybe some other time I'll reveal your destiny. Hmm? Tea leaves, palm reading, crystal scrying. Ooh, maybe trepanning. <laughs> Ooh, wow, that sounds exciting. Anyways, um, I have this token for you. Token, you say? Yes. Let me see. Oh, goodness me. You're a friend of Gabriella's then. Well... I guess we both know why you're here. Yes, we do indeed. I was told you could see my future. Hmm. Well, yes, yes, I, I surely can. It, it's not something I do lightly, mind you, and it's, it's not as specific as you might want. But, yes, I, I will do this for you. Please relax. Free your mind. Yes, that's it. Okay, just keep it above the equator there, Oliver. Um, what do you see? There's a cave. No, not a cave. A home. A, a place you feel secure. You will find safety there. Sanctuary. I see snow. Lit by the star of dawn. And you are not alone. There are others. A child of night, a stalker of the sands. Oh, but before you are family, there will be blood. Such blood. Wait, there's something else. A potential for adventure and wealth. It is a ruin, ripe for the plunder. Deep wood, redoubt. Deep wood redoubt. To the northwest. All right. Through there is Hag's End. Okay. The last resting place of an assassin of old. Ah. A dark brother. A dark brother who an assassin of ancient old. Ancient earthly possessions to you. Oh, an inheritance. Fantastic. Uh, anything else? No, no, that is all. Now. Now, please. I find myself very weary all of a sudden. Oh, kind of duckered you out, eh? Okay, and yeah, we'll just leave you alone. Okay, so that's it. And now we have a new objective locate the assassin of old because, well, we've inherited his armor. Awesome. All we have to do is go get it. And it is in Deep Wood Redoubt, a rather dangerous location. This is on our to-do list. This is a priority on our to-do list. Yes. For now, I want to thank you all very much for watching. And if you found this walkthrough helpful, hey, post a comment. I'd love to hear from my target audience. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to make sure you get all my videos hot out of the press. All right. Bringing it on into the finish line here with the pure wood elf walkthrough. See you next time. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, alright? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.